know, Sale this weekend, big, big game. You know, they've targeted it, and, and I think they've come out in the press and kind of said, we, we, we want to get five points over Exeter. But when you hear a club come out and say that sort of thing, how does that make you guys feel in the, in the changing room? Um, to be honest, we don't, we don't really take much notice of that. So it's more about um, concentrating on what we can do. We know they're going to come out all guns blazing. They've got a lot to fight for, and they need to pick, start picking up wins because they're in, they're in a relegation fight. Um, and we're just going to go up there, try and uh, impose our game on them and hopefully they'll come out on the right side of the result. You look at the Chiefs at, at, lately in, at form-wise, and although the form's been relatively good and the you know, performances have been praised, the results haven't necessarily been there. How important is that in the Premiership, off the back of a good LV Cup win, to, to kind of turn that form around? Yeah, I know it is. We're, we're under no illusions that we haven't probably got the right results that we we wanted in the Premiership over the last couple of weeks, um, but hopefully over the next three or four weeks we can go on a bit of a run and really start looking at pushing on up the table because we because we want to be desperately be in that top six and if not pushing for a top four space. With the Six Nations at the moment, and obviously I know teams have got lots of strength and depth, but obviously with the best players not being there, is this Exeter's chance to shine? Bearing in mind there isn't really anybody apart from Craig Mitchell who's playing in the Six Nations. Uh, yeah, there is, but obviously we've lost quite a few players, key players over the last couple of weeks through injury, so we're, we're a little bit depleted from where we probably would want to be as a squad, but yeah, like you said, a lot of players are missing, but I don't think Sale have got that many players missing and they're going to be as good a squad as, as they can put out on the Friday night. You signed a new deal um, earlier this year, late last year, you know, Quite a few years here now at Exeter, all in the Premiership. And you know, what is it about the club which which you like so much? It's just a great club to be around. Uh, all the management and the players um, contribute to making the club what it is, and it's it's a brilliant place to be. All the boys enjoy coming into training and having the banter, and um, it's probably in the summer months probably miss it a little bit, and it, you're quite glad to come back in after the off season. It, it's it's just a great place to be. And, and you've obviously seen a, you know, a lot of your other teammates signing and things like that and you, you, know, you look at the signings that are coming in next season, people like Tom James and that, and does that excite you for the future? Uh, it, it does, but I think uh, it's, it's more important to, to see the, the players re-signing than, than the players we're coming in. Obviously we don't know what they'll bring to the squad, um, but we know what we'd lose if, uh, if certain players move on and, and that's, that's probably more of, more of the case at the moment. Fantastic. That's funny. In terms of sale, though, uh, Luke, it, it's a massive fixture not only for them but for us as well, trying to push into that top six. Uh, last year, this was the period when the team really started to kick in a bit. Yeah, definitely. Um, the pitches are starting to firm up, and we're probably um, pretty glad of that. To be honest, we want to we want to play a bit of rugby now and uh, want to score some tries. So, hopefully, over the next three, four. Uh, weeks and then into the rest of the season we can really start um, improving getting a run together and, and moving on from there. You talk about tries, the Chiefs are top of the pile at the moment. As a, as a back you must be excited about playing in this back division. Ali and, and Ricky have really worked on that game this, this year. Yeah I think it's a, a all over squad thing there. All the forwards are contributing to a decent handling game now and the pace that the boys are running into contact to and putting, through, they're putting their bodies through is uh, it's a real testament to how far we've come and the tries we've been scoring. What are you expecting from Sale Friday night? Just a, uh, just a, a massive dogfight to start with, I think, a massive uh, intensity in the first 20, 30 minutes. And like I said, we're going to have to come out fighting fire with fire and um, hopefully come out on the right side of the result. The game up there last year, the, the first half, they did literally come out all guns blazing and, and it took a while for you to settle, but once you did, it was it probably the turning point of the season, wasn't it? Yeah, the games? I, I think probably we're... Um, bit of our own worst enemies there but um, yeah but Sale came out they showed what kind of quality they had obviously they were in a different position to what they are now and I think they're probably under a bit more pressure this year which obviously helps us us if we can uh, keep keep mounting the pressure on them and in, impose our game on them like I say hopefully we'll just keep going and score a few tries and pull away from them in the end. Fantastic.